Hi guys, Trumbicker here, playing Pillars of Eternity. Today I'm doing the quest, uh, The Man Who Waits. No, that's not the one I'm doing, is it? No. We are doing a Fragments of a Scattered Faith. That's what we're doing. Uh, so we've spoken to Mayor Wald with that, and now we're going to travel with Edder to the records, which are in the Ducal Palace, which we already know are, in fact, in the uh, First Fires. Um, so that's where we're heading to. First Fires, I haven't been to any other of these places yet. I assume the Brackenberry is where another quest will be that I currently have in my possession. Uh, this place has a lot of opportunities for tons of potential side quests to do, and uh, I'll be doing them boom, 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 one at a time, which means uh, I'll be playing pretty casually. That's what that means. Uh, so this uh, has been one that I've been waiting on for quite a while. The lead up to this is that... Um, I met Edder and thought like, oh, we'll go meet um, meet this uh, crazy man, Mayorwald. Mayorwald will tell us stuff. And it turned out Mayorwald uh, died, so he didn't tell him anything. So now we're going to the archive to find more information. About now a lot wants to talk to me. In the catacombs. There's something I should have told you earlier. Uh, that's an understatement. I meant no harm. I thought I could keep it to myself. That when we resolve the matter of your soul, we'd also address my problem. I also have an awakened soul. But unlike yours, mine is a presence that shares my senses and my skin, making herself manifest at the most unwelcome of times. Oh, that's awkward. I've tried to learn to control Isselmir. I've gotten stronger, but so has she. Um tell me about Isselmir. Artless, uncouth. A creature of rash impulses and feeble faculties. She wags her impertinent tongue when she should listen. Aye, this one's fit to boil. Hard to get this gaff over anything tisn't to do with books and spell speak. I have none of her memories, for I've spared me that much. But her coarse manners and intolerable heel speak suggest a provincial from a very, very long time ago. She pretends... To surface a hair breath from conflict when the fuse has burned down and teeth are on edge. And when she shows up, she doesn't stop to gauge the situation, she just acts. She seems reckless. That's exactly. You recall the way she'd go to those villagers in Gilded Vale? She doesn't think, she doesn't back down. And trying to express, that has been my problem for years. Why didn't you say something sooner? I learned to keep her a secret a very long time ago. Those with awakened souls are shunned, mistrusted. And after your experience with Mayorwald, I'm certain you can see why. We need to be careful. Troublemaker. Is this going to be a problem? Merely an annoyance. Although, Defiance Bay is said to have an entire institution dedicated to the study and cure of soul-related ailments. Since our journeys have already brought us to the city, Perhaps we could speak with someone there. If it's helped you, we'll go. Thank you. This has been a great burden. Oh, time to get moving. And a new quest called Two Sided. We demand to see the Duke, the Duck. Who are you? A refugee. He's busy. You'll feel the back of my aid. Um, can I get in? I can get in, so just can't speak to the Duke, the Duck, the Duke de Pousse. So randomly picked up another companion quest to do. Um, interesting, Sidley. This person's name is. Welcome to the Ducal Palace. Uh, what's the Ducal Palace? It's the seat of government here in Defiance Bay. This is where Duke Admeth Hadret declared freedom from Adrian's rule some hundred year, fifty years ago. It's also a hotbed of regional politics. Trust me, the gossip here beats what you'll find in the tavern or brothel in the city. Uh, who are you? I'm a page here at the palace. I deliver messages and run errands for the Duke and his advisors. The pay's not great, but I can't think of a better introduction to politics. What goes on in here? Where to start? We got meetings, public hearings, and ceremonies. That's just the stuff that happens out in the open. This is where the Duke and his key advisors work. So, there's always someone battering, bartering for a favor. 
Unfortunately, I'm not in the liberty to talk about the side of things. Um, tell me the Shrine of Magran. It's a symbol of Magran's protection of Defiance Bay. She's represented the revolutionary spirit of Direwood ever since independence, and her involvement in creating the Godhammer Bomb only affirmed her importance to us. What kind of records are stored here? Mostly dull official stuff, census counts, tax records, militia registers. Now I keep my distance. I got curious one day and got drafted into reshelving half the records. Worst day of my life. Is there a hearing going on right now? Sure is. Duke Edgar has been in meeting with some of the city's leaders for weeks now, trying to figure out how to address the legacy. The whole business is a terrible secret, though. I tried to sit in the galley, gallery during my lunch break one day and got turned away. But a lot of the talk concerns animancy, so there's a good reason they're keeping the meeting behind closed doors. The legacy? Waywind's legacy. That's what they call it. Called the Rash of the Hollowborn. The theory goes that it's a punishment for meddling in animancy. Why is animancy so uh, controversial? Where to begin? Traditionalists think it's a crime against the gods. There's no question that poking around in the soul is risky, but the more progressive elements believe it's our only shot at restoring healthy births. And it doesn't help matters that the animancy research often involves old Egwithin relics that were illegally looted from rooms in Earfathen. Glathfath. Glanfath. So what do you think about animancy? Me? I, I think the real danger of animancy is confusing a real scholar with an expensive fake. We get a new case here every day. Some poor couple in the gift or copper lane who spent every copper they had on a miserable cure for their unborn son. It never works. Breaks your heart. But there's usually nothing we can do for them. And what are the Holoborn? You really are fresh in the road. Holoborn are children born without souls. They don't live for very long. And those that do have generally received some kind of treatment from the Animancers. I see. I'd like to ask you something else. Tell me about the current Duke. That would be Aether Wolfgren. Don't let the title fool you, though. Our Dukes have been elected since independence. Some find Duke Aether rather coarse. He's a frontier noble. Personally, I think a rough and, and tumble type is just what Defiance Bay needs. Goodbye. Okay, so... Jeez, there is not much to this place, is there? Um, where would we guess there'd be the archive? Here, maybe? No. I don't want to rob this place, because I can get into such huge trouble for that. There's a door here. Statue to indicate that Liberty's blind. Nope, it's actually a statue of a stone warrior. Hail and well met. Uh, you seem upset. What's wrong? Uh, this is about the fires, isn't it? They're just symbols. You can't put your faith in them. Uh, the fires? The sacred piers all around the tower, town. You must have seen the statues of goddess around the city holding up empty braziers. I've kept them burning steadily for 15 years, but I haven't been able to conjure them for months now, and people need to see them more than ever these days. What does that mean? It's my devotion and prayers that keep them lit, but lately when I try to pray, all I can think about is are the Hallborn all over the city, the grieving families, the refugees. How can Morgan allow us to suffer like that? What strength do we have? And this is shaking your faith. But I believe Magran may be speaking to me again. Lately, I've been seeing visions. A place in the wilderness with pools filled with sunbursts of color. Strange falls that seem to rise in the heavens and, the, and while they splash into the earth. And behind the falls is a cave filled with fire and heat and danger and some token of my goddess. I know there's something there, but where is it? I get there. I've been meaning to ask around at the expedition hall to see if anyone recognizes the description. To be honest, though, I don't know what I would do if I found the place. An uncertain mission with no clear outcome. I can understand her confusion. Still, it seems odd that she would send us when the vision is clearly hers. Uh, what's the significance of the sacred pyres? They symbolize Magrant's power and guidance, and right now, the people of the Pines Bay need to be assured of her presence. Our neighbors in the Valian Republic see us as superstitious, but we're just sensitive to the signs and warnings of the gods. I like no more of the temple here. Magran is the most revered goddess among us, dry woodens, so it's no surprise that her temple is part of a ducal palace. Her fire symbolized trials, revolutions, and the blazing of a new path, all of which are important to us. 
This is the first of the sacred pyres. When this is lit, so are the rest in the city. So that's going to be a whole new quest line. Okay. Do you have here maybe the Duke's office, perhaps? Or is there a dude in here? Record keeper. Ah, uh, here we go. Yes, is there something I can pull for you? I'm looking for the militia records from the time of the Saints' War, trying to find out what happened to someone. We've had a number of inquiries about such information. I'm afraid we've had to bar access to the public. Seems there are quite a number of folk in Direwood who bear ill will towards Red Sarens. I would be responsible to surrender the names just to anyone. Many came to settle here as refugees. Yeah, I don't want the might. Perhaps if you were more established in Defiance Bay, things would be different. But I have no reason to suspect that you were any different from the others. You've come a long way. I just need to find out about my brother. I don't even know what side he fought for. You must understand, I have heard many such stories. I'm afraid there is nothing I can do. Okay, so in order to get past this, I need to either get 16 strength, or I have to establish myself in the city by performing good deeds. That seems easy enough. Uh, so I have had one good deed so far added to my appendum. See if this guy. That one's locked. I can't get it in. See if there's any more good deeds I can find. Um, I have to do them one at a time just so I can complete this quest for this guy. I don't even know where this will go to. Maybe outside? Maybe to another zone? Turns out uh, it's. Side. That's awkward. That's what I meant to call it. No, you had it right. Okay, so I guess next time I will be doing um, Cinders of a Faith. Travel to the cave from Theogra's vision. And uh, yeah, try not that one out. Uh, until then, my name is Trollmaker. Thank you guys for watching.